Welcome to Biology Practicals. In this practical, let us learn about pollen germination. The aim of the experiment is to study pollen germination on a slide and to calculate the percentage of pollen germination. The principle or theory involved in the experiment. Pollination is an important event in the life cycle of flowering plants. Pollination is the transference of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or different flower of the same species or of the different species mediated by abiotic and biotic factors. Abiotic pollination occurs by wind and water. Biotic pollination occurs by insects, birds and animals. Pollen pistil interaction covers the sequential events from the pollination until the pollen tube enters the ovule. During this interaction, the pistil screens for the right type of the pollen grain because the pollination does not guarantee the transfer of the right type of the pollen grain. If it is the right type, the pistil accepts the pollen grain and promotes post-pollination events that lead to fertilization. To know the pollen germination, we should know about the structure of the pollen grain. A mature pollen grain consists of concentric wall layers as outer exine and inner intine. Exine is poropollenic and it is a discontinuous layer due to the presence of one or more germ pores. The intine is made up of pectin and cellulose. The pollen grain consists of two cells, generative cell and vegetative cell or pollen tube cell. Upon germination, the vegetative cell give rise to pollen tube through one of the germ pores and the generative cell migrates into the pollen tube and start dividing to form two male gametes or sperm cell. Coming to the lab procedure, prepare the pollen germination medium by dissolving 10 gram of sucrose in 100 ml of distilled water that becomes a 10% sucrose solution. Using a dropper, take some nutrient solution and put 2 drops on a clean glass slide. Take a mature flower, we are going to use vinca rosea and dust a few pollen grains from its stamen onto the drop on the slide. After 5 minutes, place the glass slide on the stage on the compound microscope. Observe the slide through the microscope regularly for about half an hour. The materials required for this experiment are vinca rosea, cavity slide, cover slip, instruments, 10% sucrose solution, water, blotting paper. Let us do the experiment. Take the clavity slide and feel the depression. Take anchor. Pierce at the petal region. Take a brush. Put sucrose solution in the cavity slide. Spear the pollen grains. Place it on the sucrose solution. Take the cover slip. Lower 
further down the cover slip. Remove the excess. Focus on the microscope. You can watch the pollen grains on a microscopic field. The pollen grain is uninucleated in the beginning. At the time of liberation, it becomes two cell with a small generative cell and a vegetative cell. Later, in the nutrient medium, the pollen grain germinates and forms pollen tubes. In the first trial, number of pollen grains on a microscopic field was 16 and the number of pollen grain germinated is 5. In the second trial, the number of pollen grains on the microscopic field is 53 and the number of pollen grain germinated is hardly 4. In the third trial, the number of pollen grains on the microscopic field is 14 and the number of pollen grain germinated is 4.